爸爸妈妈来看你们来了，你们是学校里面的大哥哥，你们终于，你们终于第一看到我们。The verdict that was read out in court today apparently said that he was convicted because of articles and diary entries he'd written concerning the crackdown in Tiananmen back in 1989. And certainly this is a discussion of a historical event. Uh, it's freedom of expression is protected in the Constitution and he should be able to freely discuss this out in the public. So we are very concerned that this was actually uh, in more in relation to more recent work he had done concerning the Sichuan earthquake. The Chinese authorities have repeatedly said in, in the recent past months that uh, these activists have been tried according to the law. And what we're finding is in many of these cases, the proceedings have not been um, going along according to criminal procedure law. For instance, Tan Zoren's trial was actually in August, but we didn't get the verdict until today, sometime in February. So we're very concerned that the rule of law is being completely ignored. <laughs> Thank you.